It's new TVC time, and I'm very happy to review the new Ahsoka Tano from Mandalore, Darth Maul from Mandalore, and the Offworld Jawa from Arvala 7. These figures are awesome. And yes, I got three Jawas. I'll explain. I'll do it right now. So there's the chief, like the, the tribal leader, coming out with the Razor Crest. I wanted three Jawas to go with him to have four total because I thought that would just look nice around the Razor Crest if I do a diorama with the Jawas, you know, taking them all off or something. You know, I invested so much in the Razor Crest, I don't want to just have a couple Jawas pillaging off of it. You know, I'm not going to get them all, but, you know, I think four is a decent number. So, yes, that's why I have three. And also, it is good to showcase all three because all three are holding all three of the weapons you get. Um, and also, I should probably set an egg because you also get the eggs. Uh, <laughs> but yes, Ahsoka's awesome, Maul's awesome, and the Jawas are actually also really cool. So, um, I guess we'll just start with Ahsoka first because she's, you know, she's right there. Um, so let's just take all these and set them off to the side carefully as to not destroy them. Let's look at the card. So Ahsoka's card back is awesome. I mean, it's Ahsoka from the end of Season 7. It's the epitome of awesome, badass Jedi. Actually, technically, she's not a Jedi. <laughs> Anyways, the rest of the wave. Um, basically, the only thing I'm not reviewing here is Echo because I reviewed him with the uh, Hasbro, like, Hascon pulse whatever convention exclusive set that they did last year he, he came in that i reviewed it then i already have it i don't need another one so <laughs> i might i might actually get another one though to you know maybe customize them maybe but <clears throat> i don't need any more to keep playing but yeah really nice card back i like the color clone wars you know i, I love how it says star wars the clone wars on it too that's really cool so yeah good card back and then the figure is not good figure's great <laughs> so this is the latest and greatest Ahsoka from Hasbro. And I love it. Um, posing it around, I don't really have many complaints. There's one complaint that I have, and I probably wouldn't have even really had much of a complaint about it if it wasn't for uh, the Forces with Jesse making a video, like modifying it and making it look a little better. The shoulders just stick out a little bit out of the socket. Just maybe a little bit too much. Just, just a hair too much. That's it. <laughs> it's like my only complaint. You know, other than that, man, what we're looking at is a very, very solid Ahsoka figure. Very solid. Um, the paint's really nice looking. I mean, especially for the three and a quarter inch scale. Oh my gosh. I do feel like the elbow paint, you know, because it's like, you know, orange. Did they not even finish painting that on mine? Ooh, isn't that, is that supposed to be orange too? I think so. And mine's not fully painted. I don't know if that's the case with all of them, but yeah, I'm, I'll probably have to throw a little bit of orange paint on her to make her make her look complete. Um, that's unfortunate. Uh, I just realized that I did a live stream unboxing of these, and I didn't even notice that. I thought it was just like a weird glove detail, but now I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be painted orange on that side of the elbow too. No biggie, not the end of the world. Honestly, I'm not gonna call it a crappy figure just because of that. Um, tilting her head in an awkward position to look at her torso armor. I love the Mandalorian motif on it. It's really cool. It just looks so good. Then her head. Oh man, and the photo reel, and then the big old tendrils. I forget the name of them. I know they've got some sort of name. Yeah, it looks really nice, and the paint's really solid on them. Um, and they're also made of a softer plastic, too, so they bend out of the way. So you basically get full head articulation. I mean, look at that. Just yes, look at this pose I've done super quick. Just look at that. That looks sweet. That's a super quick pose. You know, maybe get her pointing the lightsaber. I mean, oh my goodness. So cool, man. So cool. I mean, you pretty much see all the details. Newly sculpted figure entirely. Not like a weird retool like the Black Series one. Also, not a Walmart exclusive like the Black Series one. This one can be found at retail. As in, Target will get one case and never again. So, and even then, not every Target will. But yeah, I mean, let's go over articulation a little bit. Um, of course, you know, it's standard. She's got the double ball peg at the neck that gives her an insane amount of range. Ball hinges at the shoulders, ball hinges at the elbows. And then her wrists, I think, are just swivels. I don't know if she's got hinges in those tiny little wrists. I hope not. No, I think they're just swivel wrists. Perfectly acceptable, honestly, for how tiny she is. I mean, she gets very good grips on her sabers. Her, uh torso has a really nice ball joint and then sorry ahsoka i've got to lift up your skirt a little bit <laughs> so we can look at your hips you can see the standard kind of disc hips 
like the disc hinge. It can move forward pretty good. Here, let's see how good we can get her kneeling here. Yeah, she can kneel really good. Yeah, no real problem kneeling. That's awesome. Um, then you can also get them out by rotating them all the way. Thigh swivel, knee hinge, and then a swivel below the hinge on the boot. So you have to use the thigh swivel. And then hinge up and down at the ankle and ankle tilt. So, yeah, man. Super impressive figure. Super impressive. Oh, my goodness. Definitely a fan. <laughs> Definitely a fan of this one. I do want to make one comparison, though, um, with the previous realistic Clone Wars Ahsoka from the Vintage Collection. And I'll have to excuse her. She is in a bit of a pose, so I'll have to get her out of the pose to make a proper comparison. Here is the, uh, the Season 3 look for Ahsoka. And you can see, like, this figure was pretty good for the time. I still think it's really nice. Um, but she's got, like, the orange hinges at the ankles, just swivels at the hips there. It looks like the fabric's fraying a little bit, because, I mean, I've had this thing for years and years. Um, I mean, it looks really solid. She holds the sabers well. She does come with the hilts. The new one does not come with hilts. And I haven't really given you a good look at the sabers on the new one quite yet. But yeah, let's kind of compare the heights on these two. So you can see, actually, the new one is a little shorter. That's kind of a surprise. Here, let's maybe... Does, should the new one's hips be a little more? Here, how is it hinging? There we go. Get the hips maybe a little more inward. Would that make a difference? Get her legs a little more squozing together. I don't know. I think that the new one is just uh, a little shorter. Which, I mean, she's supposed to be older in the new figure. And honestly, the new figure definitely stands up better. <laughs> There's a reason the old one was on a display base. Yeah, the new one's actually slightly shorter. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to have, like, an Ahsoka lineup. But honestly, I think the, the scaling with the uh, the new one's a lot better. I just think it <clears throat> it looks more correct. Um, the face is leagues and bounds better than the old one, 100%. I still really like the old one, um, but when it comes to like being with my clone troopers, the new one for sure is the one that's standing with my 500 first. Um, the old one I'll just put with my other realistic Clone Wars figures. Um, so yeah, there's Ahsoka. Awesome, awesome figure, man. Um, this video has already taken quite a while. So we'll, we'll try to trug along with the other figures here. So next up, we've got Darth Maul. And let's look at his card back before we look at the figure. No, Ahsoka. It's Darth Maul that fell, actually, not Ahsoka. Darth Maul fell, like, twice. At least he got caught the second time. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> Darth Maul Mandalore. Love that picture. Love it. Yes, please. Digging it. Dude, the, uh... Oh, my gosh. Again? The Darth Maul and Ahsoka fight seriously gave me chills. It was awesome. The, the Seriously the best Clone Wars Saber fight. Um... You can see the other figures. And you can tell, guess where I got this figure? Hmm. Do, 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 do. Amazon, correct! Woohoo! Yeah, Amazon, once again, delivering the goods with a very nice quality card back. Um, which is funny because I got this Jawa from Amazon, and the condition on that's perfectly fine. So, Darth Maul. Uh, <laughs> this figure, man. I don't really have anything to compare it to because, like, I don't really have the five points of articulation Darth Maul. And, I mean, I could just be here all day comparing him to all the other Darth Mauls. But, if I don't burp for the rest of this video, which my body is definitely trying to make me do, I can tell you that this Darth Maul figure kicks all kinds of ass. I love it. <laughs> um, just like Ahsoka, he's really nice and poseable. I mean, he's a modern vintage collection figure. Well, what else would you expect? Um, his likeness is amazing. Let's just get right to the chase here. Let's get right to the chase. Oh, wow. This is by far the best Ray Park Darth Maul license. <laughs> Darth Maul license? The best Darth Maul likeness. That Hasbro has ever done in any scale, by far. That looks exactly like him. That is amazing. Like, look at that right there. 
if that is not Ray Park, then I don't know who I don't know who it's supposed to be. Is that it? I mean, the chest has a lot of nice detail on it. The armor and the belt, where it's kind of like the cybernetics meeting up. And his robo legs too, his Mandalorian robo legs. Loving those. Those look super cool. And he's got similar gloves to how he did in The Phantom Menace too. I like that. Little tie-in. He's got similar robes. <clears throat> he does... <clears throat> if my throat will clear up, I am losing it. Oh my gosh. He does have still half of his lightsaber blade from The Phantom Menace, but he has replaced the other half. So that's cool. I don't know where he got the other half of the blade. I'm sure there's some story with it. But the saber looks really nice, honestly. I really do like it. I like how nice and clean it is. It just... It looks good. Because Hasbro, for the longest time, with her sabers... And here, I'll show this they had like a little bit of like an effect going on oh there's a hair um <laughs> but there's a bit of an effect going on at the start of it this is just boom straight up and down if we'll get back in focus and actually speaking of sabers i didn't really talk about ahsoka's either so we can see yeah those are also basically straight up and down can we get in focus please i mean i'm clearly showing stuff right here there we go i can see ahsoka sabers really nice blue yeah, they're basically up and down, too. One shorter than the other. Got some nice paint, like black and silver on them. Yeah, really nice. And then Darth Mauls. You can split them if you want. I don't know why you would. I mean, it helps with packaging them, too, honestly. Because, I mean, I don't even think this would have really fit here. No, that this would not have fit in a vintage collection card back if it was not split. So, I mean, that's nice. Uh, yeah, man. Ooh, yikes. Super cool. Super awesome figure. And let's stand him next to Ahsoka before we go over articulation. See, I know some reviewers, they're super nice and, like, organized. They have it all laid out, like, first we unbox it, and then we do, you know, size comparisons, and then we go on to articulation, and then accessories, and blah, blah, blah. I'm just all over the place. But yeah, you can see Darth Maul, he's not a super tall guy. So I think he scales really good with Ahsoka there. Um, I'm definitely a fan of that. Because Darth Maul, Ray Park, is not a super tall guy, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, this works. This works. And here, bringing in, like, a more standard height person. There's the Purge Trooper. So you can kind of see that comparison there. So, yeah, I, I think that works. I definitely think that works. So, Darth Maul's articulation is awesome. He has the dumbbell at the head. So he can get some really awesome Sithy tilts. And then he's got a little bit of up. And a little bit of down. Unfortunately, it's just a little bit. He's got ball hinges at the shoulders, at the elbows. Um, he does have nice up and down hinges at the wrists. Um, is it on both? Yes, it's on both. Thank goodness. They're actually finally learning. So you can have him like point his saber in a super cool way. I mean, too bad we don't have tons of Mandalorians. Hopefully someday they'll make a Maul Mandalorian in TVC. So you can actually have him like point his saber and command his Mandalorians. That's awesome. Um, but he does have... Really nice ball joint at the waist. Look at that crunch. Oh, wow. That is nice. Really nice tilt, too. Oh, wow. Then you already saw his hips. We'll move his skirt up. We'll be we'll be equal. We'll, we'll move everyone's skirts up in this video. Don't worry. We'll get there. His hips, they work well. They hinge. They move. He's got a thigh swivel. He's got a ball hinge knee. Then he's just got the standard ankle that hinges up. Hinges down. Really nice up because, I mean, it is a robotic ankle. You know, they can just kind of get away with it with the sculpt. And he's got the tilt. So, yeah. Um, love this Darth Maul. <laughs> love it. Is it my new favorite Darth Maul figure? It's definitely up there. Um, I still love the shirtless Darth Maul. But this one, 100%, is uh, is up there. It's great. Um, definitely a fan. 100%. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, and let's finish off the video with the best figure of all time. That is the off-world Jawa. Very happy they're making this, because, I mean, they could have just done, like, the Chief with the Razor Crest and left it at that, but it's like, come on, if we're getting a Razor Crest, we need plenty of Jawas to strip it, to, you know, strip it down to pieces, especially since a lot of pieces come off of it. Oh my gosh, Ahsoka Cardback, cooperate! Don't do it. Don't do it. Are we good? I think we're good. Really, really nice Cardback on this. I like it. I think it's a good picture. And like it's when all the Jawas are pointing. I think it's like right before they blast Mando off the uh, off the top of the sand crawler. I think. 
I think so. And you can see the other figures in the way of blah, blah, blah. BC203, oh my gosh. I think all these, um, I think Echo might have been 200, or maybe maybe we've already passed the 200 threshold. Yeah, we are over 200 TVC figures in, man. Oh my gosh, and I have basically all of them. <laughs> um, there's only a couple I didn't get. I did not get uh, Dr. Afra. I just wasn't interested. So, off-world Jawa. Let's bring him in. Let's bring in one. I said let's bring in one. I said let's bring in two. And let's bring in three. And he has dropped his little gun, so I'll have to put that back in his hand. But yeah, man, this off-world Jawa figure is super cool. I mean, he's gray instead of brown, and he has red eyes instead of yellow. So that's automatically cool. But also, he's got soft goods. Also, he's got a new head. Also, like, it's just really nice, and I really like it. <laughs> so you may be wondering why you show in all three, because they show all three accessories. So you get, with each Jawa, you get all three accessories with each one. Um, kind of like this blunderbuss-looking weapon which I definitely like that. And then you have this kind of shotgun looking weapon. I'm not exactly sure what they do. <laughs> I'm not, I've never been that deep of a Star Wars fan to tell you what every single gun is. You've got that, I really like the paint on that one. And then you've, oop, stand please, come on dude. You don't even have a lot of leg articulation, you really have no excuse to not be standing right now. And you have a little pistol. I said you have a little pistol. Which he can hold very nicely in his hand if, if you cut the finger a little bit. That finger is attached to the hand. I still have one that I kept preserved. I can show you. On the original mold, the trigger finger is attached to the rest of the fingers. You can see that right there and it makes it very hard. So I just sliced it. In my live stream, I just sliced it and uh, I have no regrets. Because now they can hold the weapons a little better, and they look great. Another accessory you get is the uh, the Mudhorn Egg. And uh, this is super cool. This is the uncracked Mudhorn Egg. You get the cracked one with the Razor Crest. So if you didn't get the Razor Crest, you snooze, you lose. Um, but thankfully, because I got three of these, I actually can have a little nest of, uh, <laughs> of Mudhorn Eggs. If they ever make a Mudhorn, boom, instant nest. That's cool. Um, so yeah. That's really nice. I like that. Those are cool little pieces. Those are cool inclusions. I like those. They're pretty heavy, too. They're, whoop, one just fell and rolled somewhere. I'll find that later. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, really nice little inclusions. So let's get in close on one of these. We'll, we'll do this one. So he also does have a little satchel, which is nice. Um, I do like his hood. Hood's an all-new piece. I think the head entirely is all-new. Um, maybe not the face. I'm pretty sure the whole head is, though. I know definitely the hood is, because it's kind of like an overlay over the head. And you can see it's got the little tie back there. It's got the little satchel right here. And he does have soft goods on him. And let's strip him of the soft goods so we can see what we have underneath. Because I know we've got some stuff going on. I know we've got some stuff. So try not to tear it up, because it's already frayed, because, you know, it's supposed to look frayed. You can see, ah, he looks all weird and naked. Um, that is because he does actually reuse parts from... I don't know which one, so I'm going to look like an idiot while I'm trying to figure out. This Jawa? Is it this one? I'm going to say this one. I'm going to say he reuses parts maybe from this one, or is it this one? Let's figure out together, guys. Maybe it's this one. Here, let's figure out. Ooh, I think it's this one. Looking at the fraying on the side. Yeah, he, re he reuses parts from the little Jawa. That's where he reuses parts. You can see on the, the arm there. So yeah, I don't think he has the same torso. I don't think so. I think he has a new torso, but I do think he has the same legs. And unfortunately, because these had a f uh, plastic cloak on them, um, these... Even though they do have a fabric now, they still just retain the single, you know, basic articulation. But it's a Jawa, man. What are you really going to do with it, <laughs> honestly? Um, so, yeah, it's interesting. I actually expected them to reuse the taller Jawa mold. But, no, they actually reused the smaller one. That's a surprise. But, hey, I mean, it works. It works. Definitely works. While he's declothed, we can look at his articulation. 
Ball joint at the head, swivel at the waist, ball hinge at the shoulder, and you get the swivel. Ball hinge at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, swivel at the hips. There you go. Um, unfortunately, no knees, not even any ankles. So that's definitely a bummer. I mean, I'm really fighting them burps. I'm really fighting them burps. All right. So let's get him re-robed. You'll be re-robed once again, and that's pretty much it. Um, not too much to talk about with the Jawa. It's definitely a more basic figure. But I'm very happy that I got as many as I did. I pre-ordered two, and I was thinking I might just stick with the two, right? But I actually found one at Target, believe it or not. Oh my gosh, finding new vintage collection at Target? What what world is this? What year is this? Was it 2012? Was it 2011? No, it's uh, 2021, and uh, I'm finding new TVC at Target, even though it was literally just a single off-world Jawa sitting on the pegs. Ahsoka and Maul and all them were gone, um, but, I mean, I, f I got them from Amazon the next day, <laughs> so I'm not worried. Um, but, yeah, man, there we go. There we've got, oh, well, he, well, he fell. We got the Jawas, and I definitely recommend those, especially if you uh, backed the Razor Crest. If you back to the Razor Crest, man, I recommend at least picking up a couple Jawas, a few Jawas. It really will enhance your your display with the Razor Crest. Even if you switch out the display, even if you don't always have it being like rated by the Jawas, you know it's still good to have. Then Darth Maul, will he stand in that pose? I feel like he should. Let's see if he'll stand in this pose. Ah, uh, come on! I want to I want to show how cool you are. Stand in the cool pose. Stand in the cool pose, I say. Come on. Have we gotten there? He's definitely not super easy to balance, I've found. There we go. I think I found him. Yep, there we go. We got him. And then Ahsoka. We're not going to take all that time. We're just going to stand her up in her derpy little pose. Even though I need to move her ankles. Oh my gosh. Worst review ever. Oh my gosh. Ill prepared. No script. I'm sorry, I do what I do. I do my own thing, man. I do these for fun. If I did them the way that other people want me to do them, then what's the point of doing them? <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Ahsoka Tano, Darth Maul, and Jawa. I, I've been saying Jawa weird tonight. I don't know why. From the latest Vintage Collection Wave. If you want to see my review of Echo, check out the, uh, the review I did of the Arc Trooper 3-pack. Entirely the same figure. Straight repack. Not... Not any difference whatsoever, except the card back. But, you know, even then, I'm not that worried about it. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, shout out to the patrons of Patreon. You guys are awesome. Special shout out to you guys. You are my heroes. Also, all of you, I just, I really appreciate all the love and support that I've been getting. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one, and I, I guess may the Force be with you. I just feel like saying that. These figures are awesome. They're getting me in a Star Wars mood, man. May the Force be with you, yeah. Heck yeah. May the force be with you, dude. I'll see ya.